Hey guys, Thunder E here, and welcome to our unboxing setup and review of the Amazon Fire Stick. You're wondering all those things together. Well, we got this a couple of days early. I'm saying this actually in the past for this video, uh, and we're putting all that together for you. So the Fire Stick is this USB dongle stick that retails for $39.99. If you're an Amazon Prime customer that ordered it early, you got it for less than, I think about 19 bucks or so. And uh, you can order it now on Amazon, but you won't be able to get it till January 15th. That's the bummer. I'll just put that off the bat for you right now. So this is the Fire Stick packaging it says it supports uh crackle netflix flickster plex yes plex thank you very much showtime pandora uh, i have radio twitch amazon uh, music so on and so forth you've got over 200 movies uh, and tv episodes uh, and this is the packaging uh, very amazon-esque packaging darker colors and all that fun stuff it's got dolby uh Dolby Audio in there. It's got a dual core processor, dual band Wi-Fi, and gives you up to 1080p. So let's uh, go ahead and open this up. I don't think I need that. Boom, there we go. And we can slide this out of the packaging. Set our sleeve there behind. And uh, let's open up our box for our Fire Stick. So very simple and plain. Uh, first thing I'm gonna pull out is the remote control. So you've got voice controls, but it's actually with a separate remote. So this is just a basic standard uh, remote for the Fire Stick here. You can see you've got uh, your menu button, home, back, uh, of course, play, pause, rewind back, and of course you've got a click dial. You can also play games with this too. And then this is of course the uh, battery bay for this. It uses its two AAA batteries for your controller. Then you have your Fire Stick itself which is a USB dongle stick. Yeah, it's USB powered. Uh, just basically needs USB power off your TV to actually um, turn this thing on and use. So that is good to hear. And let's just get some focus on this. There we go. All right, so that's the Fire Stick. As you can see, USB here and it does require separate power uh, on the Fire Stick. So there's probably another USB cord in here. So let's open this up, see what else we have. We have our kind of like quick start guide, showing you contents, what you need. And then there is a charger, a very long USB cable in case you need it. You do need also, here's like a, kind of like a extender in case your um, HDMI port is in a very off angle. And of course, two batteries for your remote control. So I'm gonna show you the setup process for this. And then uh, we'll go ahead and use uh, the Fire Sticks. All right, so we can connect our Fire Stick directly to our TV here. Now, what you notice is that it's going to be a bit snug connecting into my TV the way it is, which is why, of course, they provide that extender because they know that a lot of people's TV sets might have that issue. So you just plug your Fire Stick into the extender and then you can connect it directly via using the power cables, uh, the, the power plug, and it will tell you that this is the most recommended power source. Or you connect it, you can connect it to a USB port on your a smart TV. So if your TV has a USB port like mine, so I'm gonna connect it directly with the extender first, HDMI, and then USB to a powered USB port here so that I can actually get some juice running in this. And that's pretty much it. Turn, turns on and you can, you're good to go. So here's your main menu for your uh, Fire, Fire, Fire TV stick. Um, you've got your search on the very top, home, um, Prime Video, Movies, TV, Watch List, Video Library, nothing yet, Games, which I have played, um, Apps, Music, Photos, and Settings, where you can go ahead and wipe it, do all those controls and stuff like that. So very similar to your Amazon Fire TV. Uh, you've also got different applications. Netflix is now included here, so you can go in uh, to find Netflix. Uh, it's very weird how it's actually, it's, 
it's under highly rated uh or sorry not under highly rated it's under entertainment to actually find the app it's not under um it Basically, it's put in a very weird category. It's on the entertainment here, and eventually you find Netflix. But um, you have Netflix here. You can have all those applications. And, uh, you know, you go to your library of apps, which is on the side. You can see my games. I have uh, Sonic 2, YouTube, Plex, Netflix, uh, a couple other games here. Now, I'm using, of course, this controller here in front of you. And... Um, it's easy to navigate when you're actually watching content or checking out content. You know, you can go into Netflix and then do that. Now, the other aspect of this is that you do have the remote and uh, the Amazon Fire TV app. The Fire TV app actually works out very well, helps you out, especially uh, if you want to use voice controls and connecting and things like that, as long as you're on the same wireless network. So it's an easy process uh, to do that. So you can see Breaking Bad here and easily just tap out with the control to Netflix. Now, you're concerned about playing games. Now, I don't know. Um, this thing has enough onboard storage to store a bunch of games here. So I have um, Sonic 2. I still have um, uh, Manchurium. I have another game here. I have um, Flappy Bird's Family. I decided to download that. But you can actually play using just this so i'm actually going to be using this to play and what i'm going to do is i'm going to jump in and i'm just going to pull the camera back launch no controller detected because i'm not using the controller i'm going to use this and um you guys are going to see how this handles um just i'll just put that on the side of the screen so i'm just going to continue my gameplay here So you get a good idea, and there it is. All right, next stage. This is just using the controller. You can still play with it, it's not easy. So basically to jump is your center button. I didn't collect that, that was foolish. Ah! Okay. I forgot. This is yeah, see this is this is where the difficulty lies. Ah It's frustrating, but you can play games, definitely you can play games on here. Um, with the stick, of course, it's still difficult, but it's very doable. So that's that, and you hit the home button, and you can head out, uh, hold down home again, and that takes you back to the main uh, menu. So it's fun, it's easy, it, you can actually play through with ease, um, at least with the control, with the, um, the controller comes with it. You can still play, but not, of course, without as well as a standard controller. Uh, but I would like to see more applications. Like I want to see uh, HBO Go, but you still can jump into uh, some HBO shows like Cannibal, uh, as well as uh, Boardwalk Empire for a season. And this is the episode I was watching. I can jump back into the episode and continue from where I stopped. I can go ahead and fast forward uh, 10 seconds and jump, or I can do... A speed through. Still playing while still speeding through, which is a great uh, feature they have. So it's nice. I can do all that uh, within the application. I can see it's very seamless and it, it works pretty well. Um, yeah, so that's that's pretty much what you have here with the Amazon Fire TV. You can play games, uh, Fire TV Stick. You can play games. You can definitely download applications. There are more applications to come. Uh, you've got YouTube there. You can also play music. Uh, and with music, uh, while you're playing, it will. You can go and do check out other things. So I can go ahead and play um, one of my favorite groups here, Vintage Trouble. Jump in and uh, play a track, Jezebel. I'm just going to turn that down so that YouTube doesn't flag me. But you can see it's playing the song. And I can still play that in the background. Just back there for you there. And then go ahead and do other things all together. So um, it's nice. It's nice that it's there. It's working. Let's go ahead and uh, round up this review.
So spending time with the Amazon Fire TV Stick, I can tell you that, yes, it's not revolutionary, but it does a very good job. The dual core processor here allows you to handle games well, as you can see me playing um, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, which I haven't beaten that game yet. Ah. But anyway, um, it handles very well, and you can use your remote control to game, but of course, not the best ideal thing to do. You have all the applications you need, except for say HBO Go, but you have a lot of shows and content there. And I like that. It's great for a second room or say a children's room or visitor's room or just for you to take on the go. And it's priced well at $39. The sad part of course, is that you can't get it till at least January 15th through Amazon, unless you're looking at uh, trying to get it off eBay from someone um, at this point. But overall, Amazon Fire TV Stick, solid. I I think it's definitely worth the purchase um, and I think Amazon has done a good job here hopefully they can fulfill demand uh, because this little bugger actually is pretty cool um, I do like it I do love like the fact that you can save a lot of games on the stick because even there's no expandable storage altogether so if you guys have any questions or any comments about the Amazon Fire Stick uh, Fire TV Stick let me know otherwise don't forget to like this video share this video and favorite this video and do subscribe to the channel top right hand corner of your screen or down in the description below so it's Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment